I've made myself a tea. I'm going to talk to you in today's video about how to build relationships. I think this would relate to professional relationships, business relationships, and also friendships. My advice here is why we as humans need to build relationships is because, of course, you, you don't want to be living your life in isolation, be lonely. Every time in life we are experiencing ups and downs and you will always like to have someone to listen you out and also in terms of business and career in order for your business to grow you always need relationship in any sort of business it's always a people business in terms of suppliers or clients you always need to build relationship because without the relationship if you have a product that is better than someone else but people don't like you people don't like working with you why would they buy from you why would they like to work long term with you so that is why building relationship is so important and a few tips for you based on my own experience so i would like to share with you guys if you guys think that i have missed any points please let me know or send me a message uh, and i could touch on the other points um, in another video for me because i have been moving to and living in many different countries in Asia, in Europe, and I have experienced a different set of cultures, different thinking, different ways of working together. And that's why I, I think what I am telling you here is rather credible. I hope I can help you guys. So whenever you are in a new country, I would strongly advise you to attend meetups. Attend these meetups regularly. So you can find them easily on eventbritemeetup.com or even Facebook groups, Facebook events. Just go to any and that is the easiest fastest way to get to learn about a certain city, uh, to learn about the country's culture, to meet more people, to meet uh, like-minded people that have the same hobbies, interests as you. I would really emphasize on attending these regularly. I am still a work in progress so I am trying as much as possible to attend meetups that is in my interest regularly but because of my work schedule is always so flexible and is not routine so it is difficult for me to plan for a certain meetup and go regularly but I do do hope that you guys will go for meetups regularly um, to make sure that uh, you are meeting the same group of people regularly and have them remember you and for you to remember them and that is the, the easiest and fastest way to build relationships. Another tip is when you meet new people you need to be genuinely interested in them and that is in terms of when you say hi to someone hi i'm elsie and what's your name make sure that you really remember their name repeat their name when they say it or uh, if it's like a very unusual name that you are not familiar with from your hometown, maybe have them spell it out or write it down on your phone and exchange numbers so you can visually see their name spelled out and that will help you remember their name faster and easier. And to be genuinely interested in someone is um, you need to be asking them what brought them to this meetup be really really genuine in your questions don't be like hey how's your day and how's it going these are very uh, surface questions i would rather go deeper than that i, I would ask what are your uh, goals or what is your next big step in the time to come or are there any new projects that you are working on that makes you so excited about i would ask deeper questions and have them talk so I wouldn't be asking like a yes or no question like are you excited about this concert tonight or today's weather is, is cold, isn't it? These are very surface questions and um, I would avoid them. Another 
tip is when you have met these people, you have added them on LinkedIn, on Facebook, you have exchanged numbers, added them on WhatsApp. Now you have their numbers. What do you do? You can always follow up with them. Send them a text like whenever you are in the area or something, you can always send them a text like, hey, um, I'm going to be here tomorrow afternoon. If you are available, maybe you want to meet for a coffee so we can catch up always follow up and meet them again perhaps out of the regular meetup settings maybe uh, if it's for a business relationship you want to build a one-on-one -on -one relationship with them so it is quite critical for you to ask them out on a coffee buy the coffee for them just be informal and relax when you are chatting with them always follow up an acceptable interval for you to follow up would be once a month you can uh, give them a ring have a five minutes phone call just to say hey i'll see how's it going what's going on with your business now any big projects that you're working on love to meet you for a coffee or if you are not in the country or if you are too tied up then really would like to know about how's it going with your business also for friends because i myself relatively new to the country so any new friends that i make i will make sure that i have their contact details almost every month i will send them a text and ask hey how is it going and because most of us are in the same city so we would arrange for dinner it is really up to you you cannot be so passive when it comes to building relationship because I know there are people out there who are just I'm not a sociable person, I'm not an extrovert I would rather spend my time at home reading a book, watching TV or something but then at the end of the day you would still need friends and in terms of business you would still need partnerships, working relationships so it is up to you to work, to make these relationships work and i hope you guys would take this advice and let me know how it works for you let me know if you have any other problems with building relationship and maybe i can talk more in another video so see you in the next one mm -hmm.